I'm Edie Lush, and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos. Very pleased to be joined by Ajay, President and CEO of MasterCard. Now, I know that financial inclusion is on your mind. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I think that there's two and a half billion people in the world who do not have access to what we take for granted, which is the first elementary entry into financial services, the bank account. If you don't have that, you, what you and I could do, pay a bill, go online, settle a claim, uh, get paid safe for a rainy day, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. And so not only do you sort of degrade your life by not having access to a bank account, you actually very often don't have an identity. So if you think of these two and a half billion people, most of them lack regular identities. And the impact of that is enormous on their lives. So I'm very focused on changing something using technology and using public-private partnerships that can make it easier for those two and a half billion people to get what you and I take for granted. So I think that the idea of this bank account is fascinating because I wonder if we might just completely leapfrog the yeah. idea of having a bank that potentially MasterCard could do uh, and a mobile phone could do what you and I would consider we have to have a bank account in order to do. Well, I think you still need an account. Uh, the old bank account meant you had to go to a brick and mortar place and open a checking account or a savings account, do some kind of a transaction. You still need your money to be kept somewhere safe, ideally in a bank or an institution that the central bank of a country looks into and regulates for safety and security because your money is very personal mm -hmm. and it's got to be kept safe. So I'm not talking about disintermediating a banking system. Mm -hmm. I'm really talking about how do you make that system work in a way that these two and a half billion people who haven't had access can get access. And for that, whether you need the good old fashioned brick and mortar bank account mm -hmm. or you need to be able to do it through fingerprints and an account that's open in the cloud or whether you can do it through mobile phones, mm -hmm. or whether you can do it through cards, as we are doing as a company. I'll give you an example of each of these. Mm -hmm. uh, in India, the Indian government is opening bank accounts and unique identifications using biometrics, eventually for 600 million people. Right. And they will move subsidies by going, instead of in a market price system, they will start giving them as bank transfers. Mm -hmm. All of these guys will get a bank account in the cloud with one of the state banks of India. And then what we can do is we can enable that village farmer who's illiterate mm -hmm. to purchase their vegetables and potatoes and their needs in a village shop with a dongle attached to a cell phone using his thumbprint. Mm -hmm. And that to me is liberating. That's the real transformation. You can't get a bank into India's villages. You can't get a traditional yeah. brick and mortar. You can't get ADMs, but you can get this. It's still a bank account at the back. Mm -hmm but it's this revolutionary new thing. And it comes with an ID, so you exist, you're somebody. You have a, a certification of who you are. It's the same in Nigeria, where we are now going to, with the Nigerian government, have a pilot for 10 million such IDs, which we put into a card with a chip. The other side of the card is a social security card. Mm -hmm. So the government's gonna give all the social payments onto that card. It's both an ID and social payments in one. Ajay, thanks so much for stopping into the Thank Hub you. Culture Pavilion here thanks in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.